what's going on guys, it's Cynical and today for you guys I've got some news and information. Actually today we have some very interesting stuff to talk about and this actually does directly relate to uh, Kingdom Hearts 3's release date. Now of course this is something that we have all been waiting and wanting for um, so long now and um, I think as fans what we want number one out of anything to do with Kingdom Hearts 3 is okay we want the game but we also want the release date because um, once we get that release date, we know when we're actually going to be holding that game physically in our hands. Now, um, if you guys don't know, a couple of days ago there was a Final Fantasy XV active time report, which um, I mentioned this a couple of days ago, I went over and explained it, but basically these active time reports act as like a live stream where basically the lead directors of Final Fantasy, most notably uh, Hashime Tabata, uh, they kind of talk about uh, new news and details and stuff to do with Final Fantasy XV, how it's currently looking, its status that it's currently in, etc, etc. It really acts as a little news sort of presentation uh, live um, for the fans of the game. So in case you guys don't know, Final Fantasy XV's uh, release date is going to be getting revealed uh, during the end of March during its own special event that is going to be held in Los Angeles, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, we already got the confirmation last year that Final Fantasy uh, XV is going to be getting released in 2016. So uh, the actual release date in terms of what month and day this year it's going to be getting released will be revealed and announced during the end of March, so not too long away now. It's currently uh, February the 1st for me as of the time of this recording. When you guys are watching this, it'll be February the 1st, so uh, it's just a little over like two months really, or two months, kind of around that two month mark. So that's really exciting for Final Fantasy 15 fans. I'm so thrilled for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting so long for this game, so it's amazing that you guys are finally actually getting that Final Fantasy 15. You're not too far off it now. However, Hashime Tabata actually said something very interesting during the Final Fantasy 15 active live time report and you guys can see it right here he said and according to Square Enix's official rules we are allowed to announce the release date for a game once it gets to this stage in development so in case you guys don't know Final Fantasy 15 is basically complete and from what has been said you can currently play the game from start to finish what they are doing as of right now is they're doing the final touch-ups to the game so it gets me interested, Square Enix have this rule that a game basically needs to be about 100% complete before they reveal the actual release date for the game. Now, this is very interesting because we know that once we get that release date for Kingdom Hearts 3, we'll know that Kingdom Hearts 3 is pretty much ready to be released and is semi-want done. Now, a lot of you guys are probably sitting there like, oh my god, dude, are you... F are you serious? But hold on a second. I still feel as if it's very possible that we will receive a release year this year for Kingdom Hearts 3. Fingers crossed during E3 2016. In case you guys don't know, Final Fantasy 15. Dean actually got the 2016 release year during one of its events uh, towards the end of last year. So I still do feel as if it's very possible that we will get that release window and that release year this year and that we will actually get the actual release date in 2017, most likely during 2017's E3. Now I actually like this way that Square Enix do it for the main part being is that many companies end up revealing a release date for a game. And what ends up happening is they're still developing the game and they end up that they can't actually, you know, finish the game uh, by the time that they come up to that release date that they've set for the game, which ultimately means that the developers need to delay the game to a further date so that they can actually get the game finished. So you see, the thing with Square Enix is Square Enix actually like to have the game pretty much complete before they go ahead and they actually say the release date. But however, one thing that really gets me scratching my head is the fact that Tetsu Nomura has actually already got a release date planned for Kingdom Hearts 3. So when you put this thing that Hashime Tabata is actually saying together with what Tetsu Nomura said uh, during last year, um, and you know, with Tetsu Nomura saying like we actually do have a release date planned, 
it kind of gets me a little bit confused. In terms of what Tetsuya Nomura was talking about during that news piece, he might have been talking about the actual release year rather than the release date in terms of year, month, and day. Anyway guys, I thought I would just present this news to you guys today. It's actually a pretty important piece of news and information and apparently that's Square Enix's official rules. They like to have the game pretty much 100% done before they go ahead and reveal that juicy release date. Um, but going off what I've already said, yeah, I still feel as if we're going to be getting that release. Yeah, this year, fingers crossed. Just fingers crossed. Come on, E3 2016. Come to us. Come to us. But yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see what 2016 has in for store for us. Anyway, guys, I've been single. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.